I think this is a like super, super powerful uh, TA game. So if they can get the ball rolling with him and maybe again, you know, like Jansen can look for some moves or maybe he can be the difference maker in some bottom way where if you sacrifice the Slark in the early game, honestly, if K1 isn't up to a good like early lane, I think you can just focus to try and like win mid and bottom if you're Nature's Prophet mm -hmm. and be like, fine, you're going to throw us a shard later, give us vision, you'll be fine. Well, smoke play is out for LGD. It's Naga sent a couple illusions to the mid lane. Trying to wrap around and maybe catch somebody like the Brewmaster, but not going to happen. So once again, in the end, no, no. going to see not much Enjoy mid lane action as a result. Enjoy. Eventually end up into the laning phase here. Okay, so we've got the Muerta 4 again. It looks pretty good so far from the games that I've seen it. Really not too shabby. I was not too convinced the first time I see it, but the more and more I see this hero, it looks very solid. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good range, span ability, and also just initiation to work with. Yeah, and yeah. Great harasser for a lane partner. So, planet looking to have a fun time on the Marta again here. But yeah, expected no contestion. It's going to be the two for two banning runes and into the lanes we go. So definitely going to keep an eye on this top lane, especially as Slark and the Nature's Prophet. Uh, but yeah, as you've seen, again, Yamsum been playing Nature's Prophet. This is, I mentioned, his third game today, I want to say, in a row even. Um, doing, he's anything, warmed up. <laughs> yeah, he's very warmed up. But if anything, he's doing great with that teleportation and making oh, use yeah. of it to control things yeah. like those Western runes, but even the mid runes early on. Yeah, I really like what he did there in, the, in like the last game. And I think that's what makes this hero like so interesting. It's that you're actually very free. Like every water rune you can TP, every wisdom rune you can look to TP, or even the three minute bounty rune. Like a lot of small things that will add up that you need to do on this hero. Ooh, off the bat, Slark is getting pretty low. So, yeah, K1 already having to deal with some heavy harassment at that top lane. You look at the middle lane matchup. Again, the TA versus the Puck, early levels. Puck trying to get uh, the farm that he can, but as the levels start adding up, you'd expect Gunners. And certainly hold his own and take the advantage himself. He's doing like a, a lot of aggression like early on already in this mid lane from the puck, but yeah, up top. We'll we'll see how this early lane can go for K1, because yeah, I said it before, I'm afraid for him, but he already has an early solve. Like he knows that he will play into a lot of early aggression. Mm -hmm. Not afraid to put in those auto attacks though, is that Marita and Nature's Prophet doing what he can to Bully her out. How about the Slark teammate? Again, you see, as soon as K1 goes up, though, it <laughs> starts taking some good damage. Gonna pop that stick. Yeah. Yeah, this is a difficult life in this landing phase. Oh, man, he's still not level two. The Blood Grenade Side and the kill by Planet. Blood Grenade for the win. That's actually, a, like, this is just like the type of stuff where they don't even need to communicate. Like, you see the last quill come out, and you either see it right away that you Blood Grenade and right click, or you don't. And he sees it right away, boom, first blood. I make it look so easy. Uh, I'm going to come back and at least hit level two. With, uh, I, I will see, I guess, the Dark Pact or the Pounds. I mean, either one will at least help a little bit more of a defensive presence in this lane, but certainly needs more tools to work with. But yeah, a difficult start, but LGD on the other side, a great start. That's the positive news for them, and especially when you factor in both the mid and the bottom lane are going pretty well for their cores too. Nagasaran having a good time bottom and yeah, Puck 15 and one in that mid lane matchup. He is dominating mid lane against Gunner right now. Yeah, I don't know if I miss anything. I think I didn't, but I'm pretty sure TA is supposed to win this matchup against Puck. So I'm, I think nothing to say, just outplayed him in the first few waves. Cause that's really where you can try to set some tempo to like offset how bad this matchup is for you. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the evidence of that, if anything, is they picked up TA knowing that it was into a yeah. puck matchup. <laughs> so yeah. you wouldn't do that if it was supposed to be this one side or the other way. So TA is going to get some good damage here once again, but nothing to say. Sh oh, well, he's going pretty deep, actually, but yeah, he'll be good. Oh, bottom. Going for kill on why you smile. There you go. Got him. There's a teleport play from Nature's Prophet. Mention needing a uh, use out of that if you're now the am some right on cue so Shiro will be fine but at least nouns manages to get on the board very good before why your smile died he threw the living armor on mid to nothing to say to help him out in that way and now he's gonna refill the bottle very nice so 
you know, make, gotta make the best out of situations if you, well, if you ever die, it's fine. You know, Nature's Prophet TV's bottom, you get killed, just make the most out of it. Shiro, making some pressure. Now, this is smart. Obviously, they know Ooh. 3 and TP mid. They saw the bottle yeah. exchange, so now they're gonna put the extra pressure on Naga Saren. Very good. He'll be fine, but yeah, a lot of harassment coming out. That was a nice try. I think they handed the Lotus to SD to like try and give it more mana, but didn't quite connect it in time. Could have also just used it on him, but that's okay. Either way, the idea is correct. So Shiro's getting some region now, popping another Tango and starts regenerating that life lost. Top lane, and Slark managed to recover a little bit. It looks like it. As I say this, Slark's in trouble. Uh -oh. Recover pack. where? Already used. I mean, CS wise, he's recovering, but yeah, it's yeah, at the death. I mean, just early aggression, even rushing arcane boots over Ring of Health. Like some of these small adjustments that some of these people make. Like Neo, also again, he has the goo on Bristlebag. It's not many bristles that will do this. So just kind of catching them off guard. I think K1 has to be more careful when his support is pulling. But either way, LGD, easy punish. Absolutely. Already just over a thousand net worth lead for this LGD squad. Not even five minutes into the game. That's a really larger one. So all three of their cores again looking very good. Templar Assassin though. Gunner has definitely recovered. He's doing solo himself, but still that puck managing the slight lead over him. Oh, nice gank. Fought him, boo. He's just dead. Man, gank coming in. Muerta joins the party down here and just by himself, Shadow Demon, busy out the tower. And this is why some of these like early lanes, they matter so much. Like you get this one kill for Bristol, you set him up for success. Suddenly he can solo, and now your Murta can go bottom, which now in return it kills Bristol, uh, kills the Brewmaster. So suddenly you have two cores that are getting shut down. The gang K1 could be in trouble. Look at this, Murta. And here comes why you smile yeah. as well. All the pounce going south, trying to buy time, if anything, for the team. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that just a level three quill spray? Like. That was something else. There's no way that dealt 40% damage. But yeah, maybe that was a dead shot at the same time I didn't see. Yeah, that must have been something along because, oh my god, he melted oh, I think half life and nothing. Is another kill. That is. Cool. I mean, Nature's Prophet also a dead, but I'm still just stuck on that Slark kill. Jeez, that's his third death, though. But yeah, LGD is full momentum right now. Nothing to say. He's going to take some good damage here to the Shadow Demon, but I mean, he is going to survive in the end. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Easy tip, going Lalas' way, so we're gonna tip each other. It's okay, back to base for the puck, but yeah, lanes have... The lanes are very stable for LGD right now. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I would say so. Almost feels like an under understatement there, but... We get a case of... Since now multiple times for nouns, uh, they're gonna need to play the recovery game because this landing stage is not necessarily going... I mean, I still suppose they have the Templar Assassin factor. And Gunnar's doing doing good. He is actually second in net worth. So you know what? That there is still that existence, but Yeah. How how impactful is that gonna be when you have the three cores on the other side all looking very strong themselves right now? Yeah, like, Cause the thing is you don't have too much to play through if you're to see. I mean he's doing a great job at like, you know, he's slowly getting ahead in the net worth of nothing to say, and he's also trying to like break this tower down a little bit, but I mean, you have no side lanes and your supports don't really have any team fight. It's a very scary territory for you already. And Naga Siren is farming away at the bottom, mid, mid lane even. You have Lilith nearby, gonna need some protection here on the Templar Assassin. He has a drink call initiation. Planet puts down the calling, but it just Prophet also shows up, and now Planet's the one that's in trouble, actually. Camarado attacks and secures the kill on him. It's a good turnaround there. Nice streak stopper. Lilith will. Thank you very much for the bounty and uh, bait around the Templar Assassin. Okay. Well, they, they are delaying the tier one tower from falling, but this is, uh, Neo's just running K1, forcing the TP to oh base. That's a, that's a lot of damage. Not a friendly game for Slark at all. Yeah. Got level three dark pack now, so I'm sure he's going to be spending a good amount of time in the jungle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's going to have to do that. I mean, they're still holding mid tower. You have a 3 build on why you smile. So three levels in their armor. Okay, some ancients being blocked, but they're already a little bit stacked, so it's all right. Yeah, a good stack to work with there. Bristleback, I'm sure. We'll make their way over there eventually, and 
work towards that Ag. So he already has a Vanguard, as mentioned, with the Arcane Boots. And now the Ags is next on the menu. Another thousand gold saved up. It's going to be a top tier one tower kill as well. Cool. And the thing is also after killing this tower, if Gunner ever wants to pressure mid tier one, I think Nuke can just TP there and hold it forever. Like I think the fact that they didn't get the mid tower in the first eight minutes, it's going to stop them from getting this mid tower in like the next 20 minutes as well. A puck avoiding a Shadow Demon gank coming in the mid lane. Planet, though, the Templar Thunder just running at the Muerta. Obviously gets a teleport in from Petra's Province. It makes a little more sense. However, now our faction's out for TA, but the Dream Call again just going to walk it off. Puts a trap down here. Comes the Bristleback. And TA, though, showing that pretty confident and for good reason. I mean, Gunner's just very tanky. Right? He's got 1200 HP. Max Refraction is super strong at this stage in the game as well. Okay, I like that Moose here. Like, all inning this tower to take it right now is definitely your go-to. Mm -hmm. I think this is huge for them. There you go. Moo and he ends up getting credit for the kill as well. And obviously, he has Primal Split ready to go if a fight does break out. You know, look at this. Oh, they see the Ancient Stack. That's big. They can take this. Yeah, it looks like an easy farming. Oh, well, let's see. Probably will turn into a team fight. Yeah, where it does here. Uh, yeah, they do not want to give this up easy. The Shadow Demon, though, oh, kills split. off Hello. a couple. Even the Primal Split committed. Yeah, the lift on the Bristleback. It's a very uncertain fight right here. Yeah. Not sure I what they want to do. Behind them. Oh, yeah, that's big. Brewmaster could be in trouble now. Moo, he's going to be rooted out. The Overgrowth does connect. The Blood Grenade out as well. And with the opening for nothing to say, he actually waves at him, says, you did not see me coming, did ya? New, credit for the kill. We take out the Brewmaster, so old out for fighting over the Ancients. Quite a big deal, the fact that, ooh, ooh, that shot does connect, but won't do too much. I mean, I understand, like, you want to use a split, like, contest these Ancients and take them away from them, but they just don't commit. Okay, 3k gold lead now. Yeah, because during all of that, Naga Saren's also just having heard through hell of a day down here at the bottom lane. I mean, uncontested farm, really. As I say, this Brewmaster's running in. I don't think they're going to make a play on her. Just simply try to harass Naga Saren out of the lane for the time being. But Yeah, I think no split equals no pressure on Naga, at least at this point. We're going to need a couple more items. Okay, I'm going to copy New's skill build. I have not skilled <laughs> Bristle like this, where he goes... Max's goo right after his quill spray is actually very interesting, but I like it. Oh, yeah, just the level one in Bristleback itself, yeah. Yeah, like, I guess the fact that you're rushing this Ags, you want burst damage more. It's like mm -hmm. the same reason why with Tiny, you just max QW. Like, now you rush this Ags, you deal so much damage, you just want the more minus armor. It makes more sense than trying to live because you're more of a burster now. It's actually very cool. I love it. Well, Sark right here is not loving it. <laughs> no, he's not loving it, exactly. Dark Pact, I mean, being level four, you know, makes it a bit more manageable, I suppose. But yeah, he is continuing to have a very rough time at the top lane. At least he's not as exposed to dying now, but still. It's uh, pretty delayed. I mean, he's got power tread. He's trying to get the Echo Saber. Meanwhile, Gunner, credit on the kill on Tree Protector. So another kill found. Yeah, this TA is certainly... Doing the work, 2-0-1, actually has a blink queued up. Yeah, I kind of like it, it gives you more of the mobility, it seems like kind of the new age build. It's the Dragonlance blink, try to like make more stuff happen. It's their smoking bottom, yeah, they might be able to catch Mu out here. Yeah, they definitely should. Dream Quell's even ready, and it is oh, going to be committed. Disruption. Disruption saving oh, him initially, but it is too oh, much. Oh, never mind, that shot did not matter. The... Song coming out from Naga, sorry. Look at Brewmaster, though, chasing after. The Earth Brew Link getting in there, hits the stun, nice overgrowth, perch. but that's going to be purged off quickly. Naga, sorry, gets run down, and that may be a kill on Shiro, unless... No, yeah, it's definitely going to be a kill. Gunner, credit for the kill there. Moo manages to be fine. All five showing up on the side of Nouns, and hey, they get the carry. Hey, that's a huge play, also the fact that... K1 gets to come around and like is in this kill, give yourself some more XP, like nice disruption. I thought he was dead when a dead shot broke the coil, but he barely lived, gets off the split, and I mean that's a Naga kill. That's in incredible for them. Yeah, without that split, they can't get out of the overgrowth, for example, even if they wanted to continue choosing. So that was yeah, very good escape there by Moo initially. 
timing get the primal split off and ends up with a turn so they slow down that momentum that ltd has had coming out of the landing phase here and they're going to get a tier one tower bottom lane now as well tree protector he's sprouted up currently does have team support nearby including Muerto. <laughs> Not a uh, here. well this is the second tower of the game for nouns against the tree and protector even though they have bristle honestly pretty nice I don't mind that New is not defending these towers. I think he's kind of just playing for his timing, and he does have the Ags now, so... Bristol is definitely going to look to get involved in this game now, and he is very strong. Mm -hmm. I just love that. It turns and Quill spam like crazy. Yeah, this Ags is so strong. I, I'm, I actually really love this one. <laughs> well, he's pushing out the top lane. I mean, he's obviously knows that he's... Not the most easy target to jump and kill, so he feels pretty confident right now. As far as exposing himself and pushing out the top tier two tower. Meanwhile, Tree Protector up here also scouting out, ends up running the Slark, teleported in from Ninja's Prophet, but here comes Bristleback. And yeah, you want to think about what you're doing now. Yep. Oh no. New nice try. killing spree. There's the Ags again. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, reveal of Bristol Ags. Hello, you're dead. <laughs> a rapid fire quill spam. Oh, Templar Assassin mentioned the blink. Said he liked it. He's got a Dragon Lance now as well, and assuming he's going to still go the typical Desolator follow up. Matter of what he prioritized early on, and that was the blink. Okay, so we're gonna get the shard next on the bristle. Still more of your power, like power spikes. Maybe they can look to claim the mid tower. But yeah, I do like what Nouns are doing still. I mean, they're down 3k, but I think they're playing well around the map, Gunner. Deadshot hit him and helps to keep Treen alive, if anything. But the chase continues. Nice job with the disruption on Bristleback. Treen goes down off the overgrowth, but now K1. But K1, again, those bristle spams of the quills. Ends up taking on Nature's Prophet. Muerta falls though. Dream Quills. Puck shows up. Gonna Refraction's gonna be wearing off soon. Nice lift though on the Bristleback. Gonna take him out of the fight for a little bit longer. Nagasar pushing forward. They end up getting the kill on Shadow Demon. Nagasar still has a sleep, by the way. There you go. Song is gonna be activated. Now it's a matter of what do they want to do with this. Run. This is gonna be a TP, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it looks like it, maybe LTD were overplaying, but they had, they're giving themselves like a couple of kills. Even though it looks deep, I think Kanye was getting a lot of levels from this. He's got the shard as well now. Nothing to say, he got to pick up a kill. So overall, fairly even between the two, I think, when it kind of comes to this fight. I think both teams kind of happy. Yeah. Well, Brewmaster makes his way back to the bottom lane. We mentioned Midas. He's got the urn and looking to build a... Radiance here, but Bristleback. Gonna be sprouted up as he makes his way down to the bottom as well. Put some tower pressure himself. How about Puck though? Puck does have a Witchblade finished and almost has a blink finished as well. So 2,000 gold saved up. So there's nothing to say. Is gonna be a little more comfortable making plays with that, but gotta give credit to K1, honestly. It's a, yep. it was a very big struggle early on in the landing phase, as you were calling, but you know what? He's doing he's doing all right now. Has the mind yeah. the Echo Saber. No, his recovery is very good. Like he still has a couple items to go, I think, before he's gonna have some really big impact. The one thing that Nouns need to live through right now is I think nothing to say it's gonna replicate what he did in game one. Like his hero has the potential to just like pop off in this mid game with this puck. Like we touched it is a pretty damn free puck game. He has to take care of, like, what? Gunner maybe buying Shard to not get silenced, and I think that's about it. Yeah. Well, Trian's just getting a lot of information over here. Gonna allow Prince Mike to come in now. The Disruption will stop this, but great overgrowth, and that for sure is a dead Shadow Demon. Can they get TA as well? That would be massive, but unable to run him down. So, really kind of being the bait there is Shadow Demon, and we'll take that. There's a lot of heroes there. Well, in the meantime, K1 is the winner of this entire play. He gets to run down the top lane once more, give himself some farm. There you go. I'm trying to finish that Yasha. Look at Naga starting how deep they are. God, they're going past the tier two tower. Puck leading the way as well. Templar Assassin. Going to be feared in place as well. And that's a dead TA. 45 seconds he's out for. Shadow Dance, Slark. In the midst of the fight, wants revenge for his teammate. Planet here on the Murita. 
going to be the one victim at least. So they do get at least the one, but don't know if they're going to get more, especially with this Bristleback sitting on top of them, spamming those quills again. Massive kill, though, on the Templar Assassin. Yeah, that Orchid from Naga Siren. Perfect timing. Yeah, he literally just got it. Like, whoever they catch out of position now, they're just going to die. Like, this is also, like, a bit of a problem. It's not super easy to catch out the Slark. He has Night Vision, but Nature's Prophet, you find him, Orchid, boom, he's dead. SD, dead. Brewmaster, you set up everyone else to kill him, too. So, yeah, I, I love the build that the Orchid is back on Naga now it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, diving past the tier two tower again to make that kill happen, but it absolutely was worth it. So Templar Assassin being delayed on the Desolator. A bit longer now. He's trying to finish it though. It does have the second Mithril Hammer queued up. Bottom Shadow Demon. I'm going to be a little careful perhaps as they're making the way over here. Uh-oh. I do like that LGD are playing here. I don't know how much of it is related to the 20-minute Tormentor, but Bristleback is so good at taking any Tormentor. Like, if they stay here for 30 seconds, they're just gonna straight up steal it. And pressure the tier 2, of course, so that's an added benefit. <clears throat> yeah, and, and as we've seen, they're not afraid to dive past these tier 2 towers, so yeah, they're certainly positioning for that. To your point, as soon as that Tormentor comes up, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, they're gonna get the tower kill at least, but... Maybe just look to do that as well in the meantime. Oh! 87. I'm not that surprised. I do think Slark yeah. can eventually get to a point, but this Naga Siren is dealing. Uh, it's giving them so many problems on her own. Mm -hmm. And you do see the Bristleback. He's doing the toe cut. That is insane. Yeah, with the yeah. axe. <laughs> yeah, you just you queue it up with the minus armor. You ulti it, and it's gone. But like you axe it, and it's gone. It's it's so easy. You don't even take damage because you turn your back to it, too. No, rough hero. That's a little tough. Yeah. tough <laughs> Skills. No, but it goes back to, as you mentioned in the previous series, I mean, obviously the positioning is the key there. Yeah, he really knows how to, how to maneuver that big body. Yeah. Puck, he's the one that benefits from it as well. Of course, he got the shard, so that phase shift now. A little bit stronger. Yeah. Oh, I think Mant okay, silence. Another silence. Not a silence. Not a silence. <laughs> yeah, actually nasty combo. Yeah, I think that's... with Net and my god. Uh, he's even buying Manta on Slark, which yeah, I mean I guess you kinda have to, but this also goes to show if you have to buy Manta on Slark, it is not a great Slark game. No. Alright, they turned it into not a great Slark game. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, that was rough to watch from his perspective, that's for sure. But you know, obviously, great execution from LGD there. <laughs> um, speaking of nouns and some things to be excited about, at least, you do got a Radiance now finished on the Brewmaster. So they have that tool to work with. The Desolator, of course, finished on Gunner playing the Templar Assassin. So they are getting a couple of items now that are a bit more standout. Shard is on Shadow Demon, too. Okay, I mean, that's going to help. I mean, to be fair, you probably... Yeah, I think this Manta on your Slark is a mistake. If the SD is around and he just purges you, like, he can just save whoever gets gone on. But yeah, well, they're just gonna look to drag out the game. I think Yamsen, he gets the idea. He's got the Midas queued up. I think Gunnar needs to join the trend. We need one more. Hmm. Bristleback. As new, uh, he has Bloodstone. I don't, need, I don't even know if they can kill him. No cap. I like, don't if, think they uh, can. Yeah, even they even can. remotely trying to jump him seems like a silly idea. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like you're just giving the kill to him. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure about that one, but ends up being the Brewmaster death and underestimating how powerful he really is right now, clearly. Well, that's a tier two tower dead, and why would they stop? They got Song, a heart finished on Naga Serum, by the way, as they're pushing uphill, and that's a tier three tower that's exposed now. Yeah. Uh, hmm. You get the heart at this stage in the game. You, like, you've got the Orchid to play the map. Now you've got the heart and, like, everyone else getting tanky to, like, push the issue even more if you want to. So, yeah, all of these items are just really coming into play. <clears throat> Whether it's the right choice or not, K1 does manage to finish the uh, the Manta style, I believe. I guess uh, three Slark is better than one Slark, so checks out. There you go. That's the logic. <laughs> Treant picks up a gem. 
Yep. Yeah, it just also, shows you how ahead they are. Yep, they, they know they're up in terms of gold. They also know they own the map. Make sure you take out the TA traps for the silence. Get out all the wards. Take Roche. Uh, this seems to be a... Uh, LGD are taking this one very clean and nicely. Mm -hmm. Smoke coming out. From the side of now, surrounding the Templar Assassin. <clears throat> Aware of maybe how the game is in the friendliest for them right now. Good job. I have nothing to say. Gets out before... Any jump happens onto him. The rest of the team is doing Roshan, and that Ooh, is going to be a Roshan low. kill. So they try to get here in time. A just picked up my Shiro, though, and now the fight commences. Nothing to say. Going to get some initially, but able to phase shift. Meanwhile, press the back in the midst of it. Has that Ags. Oh, the song, though. An aggressive one at that. Where's the follow-up to it? Lelis off the bat. He is able to run away, though, so maybe not the best coordination coming out for the Radiant Side Effect Dream Protector. He ends up dying. Slark in the midst of this is getting some nice stacks on that Essence shift. Okay. <laughs> very awkward fight for now. That, that was very awkward. Yeah, LGD, I mean, the way they slapped in position as if they were going to make a big play and didn't really happen. They were probably thinking to, like, I think Shiro thought that his puck was in trouble, but it looked like he was fine. I think they also overgrowthed and coiled, like, right before the song. So, bit of a miscue, but nice contest by now, so get two kills. Sure, they do get the ages, but at this point, you're 8,000 gold down. I don't think you can stop them. Yeah. So let's see here. I, I think the song was mainly for the puck to save him, because there's an overgrowth in the back of three. Uh, yeah, mm. bit of overlap. Happens to the best of us. Hey, of course, it would never happen to you and me if we party, no. dude, but... No, 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 no. Yeah. Shadow Demon, like, like I said, seemed to be their target of choice, but he just kind of walked away. So yeah, they, after the fact, they seemed a little confused in terms of what they were really doing there but hey for nouns they'll, they'll certainly take it and could have been uh certainly much worse for them but the big picture as you said you got the ages on to naga siren everyone's back up and lgd is even a slightly higher net worth lead now after it's all said and done more control of the map in their favor another 3,000 gold saved up on naga siren so butterfly yeah, what do you know he is just making gold out of nothing <laughs> Classic Naga Siren gameplay. Yep. The Shadow Demon can create the illusions from the Naga Siren and kind of use them himself a little bit. Yeah. Glass half full, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the stronger Positive. Naga gets, the stronger your SD gets. So yeah, go. checks out. Yeah. Infinite scaling. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Demon's. <laughs> he's gonna be your your game winner here. This is exactly what they want. All right, Brewmaster. Farming elsewhere, pushing out the mid lane. Now heading into the Radiant Jungle. Yeah, it's wants an Octarine core, but course, that's going to be a ways away. I, I got to imagine if you're Shiro and LGD, you got two and a half minutes on this Aegis. You have a butterfly in the works. I guess maybe they want to finish that first, but certainly wouldn't hurt to try to make a play with the sages here yeah like I, I think you can start to like poke this higher ground a little bit but as long as you're keeping the waves pushed in you kill all their wars with gem and maybe you find some pickoffs slowly as long as you're looking for pickoffs i think you're doing fine like it's either you play map plus pickoffs or you try to poke the high ground and it looks like moo and oh got him mm. you just barely saw him in time so out comes the dream call and there's the death of brewmaster so a nice bounty there. Going the way, nothing to say. Oh, Good why you smile? Nasty positioning. Oh, that's a big kill on Gunner if they get it. Brewmaster. Oh, more so, they do. Crystal back. Yeah, they do. That's, yeah. The, the Ag's use and just melts him. Out for another 45. Slark jumping in pretty late. Nope, he's healing him. <laughs> yes. Oh, say, no, he's got, he's got Crystal back available. Ah, you're dead. Double kill for new, and now they're into the base. AC completed right on Q, just for you to go and hit the tier 3 tower. Seems good. Does he really have an AC? Wow. Yeah, he does. He has Vampire Fangs, he has AC. Yeah, this man has definitely played some pubs on Bristleback. <laughs> God, knowing that he's 3,000 net worth behind his teammate Naga Siren is also the crazy part. Yeah. Because Naga Siren just got the butterfly also delivered. So, yeah, disruption used, the creating some illusions, but they just get killed off. And this is going to be the 
melee racks at least going down here at the top lane. So total control for LGD right now. Look at Brewmaster. Holy. That is not a hero that's <laughs> supposed to go down that quickly. That used to be a Brewmaster there. He vanished. It's core hero, by the way. Yikes. It's just, it really does feel like a lost cause at this point if you're now. It's just way too much to handle. So many things they need to answer to and they just simply don't have the answers. They don't have the tools. Yeah, they're lacking, I don't know, what are they lacking? Like two items, a silver edge, break the bristleback? I don't know, at this point it's definitely, it's getting harder and harder. Okay, aggressive song. Finds one for now. They're saying, all Good right, enough. now let's show what we can do with the uh, combo when we're on point. They just blow up the Nature's Prophet. Slark in the midst has the Shadow Dance. We'll use it here. He also has a Depth Shroud. Potentially going to come into play as well. Okay. Just get the range racks. Yeah, they got the range racks and get out. Fake fallback, perhaps. Okay, they're staying around. Let's see. I don't know if Nouns would to take this fight. This seems like a very hard one, but let's see. Uh, it's also a case of uh, you're obviously so far behind. Try something, I suppose, but the Slark gets feared off and Manta style, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Manta immediately gets stunlocked anyways. He melts. He's out for 60. Brewmaster able to get the primal split, however, and lifts up on a bristleback. Naga Saren, though, just cutting through the brewling. It's going to do anything he can get his hands on, including the Shadow Demon. And now Templar Assassin on the high ground is going to PKB and TP out. Yeah. The more that he no can do. No other choice. Brewmaster. Right, silence. Yeah, see you later. Godlike again on the bristleback. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't see how they can defend anymore. It's just, it's just too much. Like, even now, like, your Naga can just hit the tower. He's got a hard butterfly, Elven Tunic, this 3k gold again. Like, every time I look at Shiro's inventory, he just has 3k more gold. Yeah. Sure does. And there we go. It is official. GG well played. Game two going the way of LGD. And this one's certainly a bit more dominant fashion. So now it's, uh, the game one, you know, it's, ah, they were so close. They did a great job performing.